Thank you to Beam for sponsoring. More on them later. Join me for some spring fun as we explore the chic side of exercise, perfume, recipes, and style. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jennifer, and I'm the author of the Madame Chic series. Much of my working and private life revolves exploring the concept of chic. What is chic? The definition is elegantly and stylishly fashionable. Isn't that a lovely definition? We could all stand to infuse a bit of chic into our day. Doing everything with style makes the day quite fun. For example, I used to have a rather bad opinion of exercise. I told myself I wasn't good at it and it was a chore. When I decided to make it chic in my own way, it became something I looked forward to. I found some modes of exercise I love, rebounding, walking, doing a few workouts from an app, and I'm really enjoying myself. Wearing the correct exercise clothing makes a difference too. I love Nay Wise activewear. It's so chic and high quality. The top I'm wearing has a built-in bra making it easy to wear and comfortable to work out in. And I love the pattern of the leggings too. My morning cup of coffee brings me so much joy. Do you feel the same way? I love the ritual of pouring it and adding cream. I like to enjoy my first sips outside as I take in the beauty of the flowers and trees. Breakfast is, of course, another joyful part of the morning. I'll show you two breakfasts here. I tend to enjoy healthy breakfasts on the weekdays, and on the weekends, I'll make a delicious treat breakfast. Let's look at a healthy one first. I have this all the time. I'm taking plain organic whole fat Greek yogurt and placing it in my breakfast bowl. On top of that, I'm adding some fresh organic blueberries, pumpkin seeds, and the Netsola superfood mix. I have a bunch of these. They come in different flavors and I love them. It's a grain-free granola. This one has dates, almonds, cashews, cacao, cherries, seeds, and spices. I love this so much more than traditional granola because it doesn't leave me with a heavy feeling. The yogurt has the right amount of protein too. This is pretty much a perfect breakfast for me. weekends I like to make a big treat breakfast for the family, like waffles with strawberry sauce and whipped cream. For the sauce, I cook some frozen strawberries on the stove with a bit of sugar until they are significantly cooked down.
Then I add cornstarch to thicken and cook on low until it's at the desired thickness. I make waffle batter from a mix and pour it into the greased waffle pan. The waffles come out nice and crispy. I add a bit of butter and pour the hot strawberry sauce on top and top it with a dollop of fresh whipped cream. Absolutely nothing better for a Sunday morning breakfast. I'm going to take a minute to tell you about Beam who have kindly sponsored today's video. Beam make the dream powder that you know I love. I take this a few nights a week consistently. It's a major treat for me and I usually take it on nights when I really want to wind down and sleep extra deep. Beam Dream helps you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up feeling refreshed, not groggy like other sleep products. The Dream Powders contain sleep-promoting ingredients such as Nano CBD with no THC, Reishi Mushroom Extract, Magnesium, L-Theanine, and Melatonin. Dream comes in both capsules or their delicious drinks. They have amazing flavors like their Classic Original, Chocolate Raspberry, White Chocolate Peppermint, Sea Salt Caramel, and more. Simply mix hot water or milk and drink 30 minutes before bed on nights when you need to relax and wind down. So click my link and use code Jennifer to get 35% off your first order when you subscribe and then 20% off all following orders. Plus, when you subscribe to Dream Powder, you will receive a free frother with your first order. You can pause, skip, or cancel at any time so there's no risk. Time for a bit of laundry and ironing. The cycle of laundry never ends, so the key is to make it enjoyable and do it on a consistent and regular basis so it doesn't pile up and become daunting. When I'm listening to a good audiobook or watching a YouTube video, the task becomes a welcome one. getting some laundry and ironing done, let's explore the style of chic living at home a bit more. Elegance and style are the key words. When we infuse these words and all they imply to even the most mundane parts of our day, we thrive. How does one do that while ironing, you might ask? There are many ways. Through the music you play while you iron, or the audiobook you listen to, through the atmosphere of the room itself. It's important to decorate to your true tastes and passions. Don't be neutral, unless of course you want to be. As we have slowly decorated our home over the years, I've turned many a boring, bland room into a little jewel box that peppers the atmosphere with style. Just to be in the room makes you feel chic. These are only some ways to add style to your everyday. share a book with you. I've made a new dear friend who many of you may already know, Sally Clarkson. She is the author of many books and a true kindred spirit. Sally's new book, Tea Time Discipleship, is out now and she sent me a copy. It's a faith-based book exploring faith over a cup of tea. It's really delightful. Congratulations, Sally. I'll leave Sally's book link down below. 
Of course, one of the main ways I like to add a chic element to my day is through my dress and how I present myself. Here's my outfit of the day. I love this combination and have been wearing it regularly this spring. The silk shirt and pants are from Lily Silk. One of my style adjectives is whimsical. I love stripes, if you couldn't tell, and these stripes give off big top, whimsical vibes. There's something very circus about this blouse, but in a chic way. I'm wearing it with Zoe Love jewelry and an oversized silk scrunchie. The yellow in the sandals brings out much needed color. I feel so comfortable and chic in this delightful spring outfit. Do you remember the Riddle oil perfume samples I tried a few weeks ago? Well, I faithfully tried each one and I found one that is my scent. If you are well versed in perfume, and even if you're not, you know when something doesn't work with your body chemistry, and you know when you find the one. I usually gravitate toward rose or vanilla scented fragrances, so I was surprised to fall absolutely in love with Sphinx. Sphinx is a pheromone oil with Egyptian musk and sandalwood. Stop the press. This works so well with my body chemistry. It's absolutely alluring. I love this scent. It's woody, musky, and soft. I've been including it in my regular scent rotation more often than not. And now friends, I'm going to take some time to read outside. I'm in the middle of If a Poem Could Live and Breathe. Don't forget to take time for yourself. Even stepping outside with a good book for half an hour is so incredibly rejuvenating. Thank you for joining me for this video, and thank you to Beam for sponsoring. Click my link and use my code Jennifer to get 35% off your first order when you subscribe, and then 20% off all following orders. Plus, when you subscribe to Dream Powder, you will receive a free frother with your first order. You can pause, skip, or cancel at any time so there's no risk. Thank you for watching today. Keep calm and remain classy, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer.